There we go. I know we're getting a lot of callers right now for the Justin Bieber competition, but we've just had Caitlin who called us our second call of the day and won that DVD. So please don't call anymore today, but tune in again on Monday because we will be running another kiddies competition on that number that we usually call. Now, I wouldn't really call myself a petrol head, but there's definitely something that gets me excited about a sports car roaring like a pride of lion. And how much better that feeling if I'm sitting at the helm, you know, steering this big monster. But two guys that are definitely petrol enthusiasts and petrol heads rather are Chira and Gavin from uh, OverdriveTV.co.com. Today, and they brought us some exciting news about some wheeled monsters. Morning, guys. Morning, morning, hey, morning. morning. Good. Yeah, very good. Thank very you. Awesome stuff. So, what do you have for us today? Well, let's start with a car that Justin Bieber can afford, annoyingly. <laughs> and, uh, it's the it's the Ferrari 458 Spider. Oh, um, yeah. Now, I think sometimes cars should just exist for no other reason than they excite us. Exactly. And I haven't <laughs> felt about a, a, a way about a car like this for a long time. It makes me feel like a seven-year-old. I want a poster of it on my bedroom wall. It's the convertible <laughs> version of the most exciting. Ferrari in years. Yeah. Would you bring it flowers? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so. Every night. But I, yeah, but I mean, based purely, on, based purely on looks, I haven't loved a Ferrari, probably, I'm showing my age a bit, but probably since the Ferrari Testarossa. But this, when I saw this, when I saw the, the, hard, the hard roof version, the normal 458 Italia, I was blown away. And now they've taken, now they've taken the roof off, so. Yeah, and I insert, guess it's quite an engineering kind of, mm. it's, it's a feat in terms of that. Absolutely, yeah. and insert obvious topless joke here, but yeah, no, it's, it's a, <laughs> it, it really is an incredible looking car, yeah. Um, only three and a half million rand, yeah. so a snip. And um, I mean, the thing is, car makers love world firsts more than I think they love their own children. <laughs> yeah. And this is, and this is from, this is from the press release. This is the world, world's first hard top folding mechanical roof in a mid-rear engine sports car. <laughs> 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 that would all mean something not, to not you. Not much, yes, yeah. <laughs> I, I think what happened with Ferrari with the Super America, they claimed it was the fastest convertible in the world, and uh, it wasn't. So they've now been more specific. So yes, as you very can hear specific. about that very long yeah. sentence here. Yeah. About what this is. I'm thinking to myself, at three and a half million rand, do they do laybys? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you could you'd probably take it on a monthly basis. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we'd, we'd hate to actually work out how much you'd be paying a month for that car, but it is truly, truly incredible looking car. And uh, if you can afford it, buy one. Awesome stuff. So what else yeah. do you have for us? All well, right. We're going to go to the opposite end of the Spectrum, yeah, it? something completely different. Bucky's. Mm. We love um, Bucky's in South Africa. Two, yeah, yeah, we do. Two massive ones in particular. Yeah. And um, now I, I know there is a very popular Bucky's model in South Africa. Yeah, which is the Bucky's Berta. Nice. Set me right up for that one. There we go. But, um, yeah, they only made one of those, um, and he's currently over in New Zealand. So we, yeah, yeah, there we go. Now we, we the, we're starting with one that you can't get yet. It's called the Ford Ranger. Mm. Now we've driven the VW Amarok, which we'll speak about in the minute. We've yeah. driven the Nissan Navara, but the Ford Ranger is even bigger. Okay. Um, it's it's a massive, massive truck. Are we talking like even bigger than the, the F-250 yet? I would say maybe around those lines. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Ford, yeah. Ford reckon that two six-footers can sit one behind each other. Yeah. yeah. Not wow. in the same seat, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> the passenger and driver. Driver and passenger. Yes, yeah. And I really like this. They've engineered it so that you can fit a full 16-inch laptop in the cubbyhole. So great for South Africa. You don't want to leave anything uh, lying about in the car. Just slip it in the cubbyhole. Wow. Oh, they've really yeah. made space for everything. Anyway. Yeah, which yeah. makes a huge difference. We had a Citroen recently where it couldn't fit its own owner's manual in the cubby hole. So. <laughs> that is shocking. Only yeah, the fridge. Exactly. Yeah, only, so the fridge. Yeah. only the fridge. Yeah. So we don't have uh, we don't have prices for you just yet, unfortunately. They're going to launch it in the UK for some reason first. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've, I've been to the UK extensively, and I don't think I've ever seen a Bucky there. So I think those writing kids force it on them. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think. It, I think it might be another world first that car manufacturers are so happy about. We, yeah. First time we're ever going to launch a Bucky in the United exactly. Kingdom, but there it will be go. coming here very soon. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. like your patriotism. It's, awesome. <laughs> exactly. it's so cool. Yeah. Now, the, now, the one we have driven, the Amarok. This yeah. is um, the, the first Bucky from Volkswagen. We've driven the single and the double cabs. And I have to say, right off the bat, brilliant effort by Volkswagen. Yes. They've taken the fight to the establishment, the Toyota Hiluxes of this world, etc. It's a clever car. It's very fuel efficient, powerful, great to look at. Massive as well, and yeah. uh, great, great road holding characteristics as well. Yeah, it's one of those very rare things. It's a Bucky that manages to feel both refined and rugged. Usually, you get to choose one or the other in this market. You either get something that's a real workhorse, or you get something that's that's kind of you know more for show. And this manages to do both. It truly is a remarkable car. Yeah. As Chiro's alluded to, it just feels like you're driving a Volkswagen until you get out. You go, oh, I'm actually in a Bucky. Now, <laughs> which is yeah. Right. Now, funnily enough, you get in and you think, wow, this is familiar. And the steering wheel is from the Polo. Yes. So no <laughs> way. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. Yeah. outside. Yeah. 
yeah, but exactly. I mean, VW does have the world's largest parts bin, so they just kind of <laughs> dip in and put it on. Yeah, we've yeah. been yeah. using yeah. yeah. car by numbers. And um, now, I think if you if you're a, a more working uh, sort of orientated, you have got a business where maybe you need space. The the single cab has the biggest load bay in its class. Yep. It's really massive. But you will spend obviously your entire life moving your friend's furniture. And <laughs> <laughs> the cur the curse of the bucky owner. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do find that if you if you have a bit more people to move around, then in the back of the of the double cab, you can fit three adults side by side. Yeah. So, yeah, wow. very truly, comfortable in there. Truly, truly great cars, really. And um, so look out for one on a farm road near you. Yeah, soon, sure. a farm road, all, all in the city. Yeah. Although I must point out, they can't fit in normal parking bays. <laughs> and uh, in America, they call these cars compact pickups. Yeah, compact <laughs> yeah. pickups. Well, essentially, it's a pickup. That's just a lot smaller. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. By American standards, these are small. And as we say, they can't fit in most uh, parking bays. In South no, I couldn't find so. a parking bay in Cape Town that would take one. Um, <laughs> prices start at 180. Thousand for the single cab and two ninety for the double cab, so not not bad at all, right at the bottom of the table. Yeah. Sounds pretty reasonable. Absolutely, definitely. Yeah, and it's got as we, we drove the bi turbo version, loads of torque. We didn't take it off road, but I can't help but think it'll be Im immensely capable off road. Great buckies all around. Guys, thank you very much. Have a lovely weekend. Really appreciate thank you. your work. Yeah. Thank now, for you more very much. Of course, you can visit our website, expressoshow.com. Stay with us on Expresso. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.